Israel Harold Asper remained a prairie boy from the day he was born in 1932 to the day he died in 2003. His legacy, however, lives on. Izzy, as he was known, grew up in Minnedosa, Manitoba during a time where there was intolerance and war going on in the world. Well into adulthood, he was no stranger to racism and exclusion. Upon this anvil was forged a character of indomitable will. He had the courage to be bold, to never give up or give in. It was this strength of character and his care that enabled him to succeed. In love, marrying Ruth Babs Bernstein in 1956 and raising three children, David, Gail, and Leonard. In education, graduating with a degree in law from the University of Manitoba in 1957. And he was successful in business as a lawyer, journalist, politician, writer, and eventually as a multimedia pioneer. He grew a secondhand television station into a global media empire. The son of Russian Jewish immigrants actually lived his dreams. Here we're aiming for the stars. It's not worth doing if we don't aim for the stars. True to his roots, he would always value his community and his family above all else. Those values would contribute to his transition from private enterprise to full-time philanthropist. In 1983, he established the Asper Foundation and through it donated millions to projects that were close to his heart, both at home and in Israel. He became the most generous individual supporter of his alma mater. The University of Manitoba named the I.H. Asper School of Business after him. Izzy described it as the greatest recognition he had ever received. Ultimately, he turned his efforts in visionary talents to a new kind of museum, a place that would help fight complacency by educating people about the fragility of human rights and why we must be vigilant in protecting them. As it turned out, this would be the farthest star he had ever reached for. Even for an amazing visionary, the making of the Canadian Museum for Human Rights should have been impossible, no more than a dream. But he set his mind and resources to forge his dream into reality. And it would have been a dream, except for the extraordinary will and assistance from some incredibly determined people who shared the vision, the values, and the spirit of a prairie boy named Izzy. <laughs>